Hello, you guys. Sorry if I sound awful today. I came down sick with this cold. Um, yeah, it's it's not, not fun having a cold. <laughs> um, I plan on doing some Stardew Valley gameplay soon. Um, maybe on YouTube, I'm thinking. Um, maybe on Twitch, because I've been missing my Stardew Valley family. Um, I like playing it on the DS better because I know the controls better. Not DS, the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Sorry, I really am sick today. I am tired is what I am. Um, I like playing it on the Nintendo Switch better because I know the controls really well. I've actually gotten pretty far on the game on the Switch. I'm not as far into the game on my PC. Um, but, I, but I plan on doing some Stardew Valley stuff. Um, I like Stardew Valley quite a bit. I got my Dunkin' Donuts s'mores coffee here. I really like Dunkin' Donuts pre-made coffees. Um, they're good. But I figured today we'd play some Sims just where I'm not feeling well. Sims is like my comfort game, I guess you could say. Like, I put way too many hours into this game. I like it a lot. Uh, so... I figured we'd do some of that. Maybe we'd play like the introvert to extrovert challenge a little because at some point um, I'd like to get to the point where we can wrap it up and maybe move on to the next generation in it. Um, and also because when I started the game, my uh, fostering Whitehall's family, which I play on Twitch, was roughly the same age as like the introvert to extrovert challenge so like because I've played with the fostering white houses so much and I have the game set so that the active households age up and not all the sims in this save um because I play two different kind of series in this save uh my introvert to extrovert family is like way off as far as like their ages compared to like my Fostering White House series. Like, they've aged quite a bit since the beginning, since I've been playing with them, but Mia Maria Romina has not aged as much. So I'd kind of I'd kind of like to get them back to be close in age, um, because I'd hate for, like, Everly's kids to all be grown up um, when they kind of started off around the same age as Roxanne. Um... I don't want that big of an age gap. So we're gonna we're gonna play with them and get the ages kind of more online. We're gonna play with some of the neighbors and some of the different households. Um so we're gonna be playing with Mia because this is the introvert to extrovert challenge. And then I don't know, the Hooks household kind of intrigues me a little. They eventually uh Annabelle Hook is Roxanne's best friend. I wanna age her up when Roxanne ages up. I'd like to also get um, Mia married at some point. Because I don't picture Mia, like, living alone forever. I think eventually she would open up to somebody, even though she's a more guarded, kind of shy person. She would eventually find that right person for her. Now, I did off, I think off camera, um, I made Romina's... Uh, parents her mom and her dad um I know Roxanne's father is in the save uh in Sulani living it up <laughs> um he hasn't had much contact with Roxanne Roxanne has never really met her father even though he's alive in the save um but I figure like her grandparents might be a big part of Roxanne's life now, at the beginning of the save, I kind of pictured um, Roxanne definitely having some, like, Sulani ancestry in her. Like, her dad is from the islands. And then, as far as Roxanne's parents, I kind of pictured them being, like, Russian or something. But when I made her parents, I ended up kind of changing that. And I went for, like, a more, I want to say Indian-inspired sim, like... I don't know how accurate it is, but that's kind of what I was trying to picture. Um, given I've never been to India, so if it's not completely accurate, 
that's all right, bear with me. Um, but I pictured her mom being like maybe from Indian descent and then her dad, I figured maybe he grew up in Sunlani. Maybe that's how um, Mia met her uh, Roxanne's dad was in Sunlani because her father was from there. And I kind of picture her father having some Sulani and maybe he has some Russian descent to him, like a bit of both, whereas her mother's more Indian. Um, so I really like them. I didn't give them jobs. I had them move to like Tartosa because I figured Tartosa might be close to Sulani. It's got like a beachy feel. Um, maybe her dad like moved around a little. Um, and I feel like they might have retired in Tartosa, you know? So I kind of liked that idea. But I haven't been in my Discord as much lately. Um, sometimes I forget I have it. Uh, I haven't been in that as much lately, and I haven't, like, played The Sims as much uh, not played The Sims. I haven't, like, I've been sick, and I've, uh, I got two, I, I, I got a puppy. And, um, because of that, I, um, yeah, I haven't, like, been streaming as much. Um, I, I've been posting on YouTube, but not streaming as much. So... I plan to get back into it. Um, I might do a stream later today after I record this video. I usually post this series, as I've said before, on both Twitch and YouTube. Um, so you will see this on my Twitch. I usually post this in between live streams. Um, I definitely want to, like, play some Stardew Valley and post it on YouTube. I've been saying that a while, and I just haven't got around to it. So, um, yeah. Now, this is kind of the house that they live in. I liked this kind of feel up here. I thought it was cool. Um, I feel like they maybe bought the house and renoed it um, because it does have a slight, I don't know, maybe like a Spanish feel to the outside of it. Um, at least that floor looks like it might be like a Spanish floor to me. I don't know. Uh, I'm not an architect. Um, and then I tried to make the inside, like, have a mix of maybe, like, some items that might remind uh, Miss Nikita Romina of kind of her home where she's from. And uh, maybe a bit of, like, some colorful furniture for uh, Ruben. Like, I kind of pictured maybe... Some of it would remind him of Sulani and that kind of island feel. Then they have a little room down here for Roxanne so she can visit them. I liked the idea of that a lot. And I wanted it to kind of be neutral in the living space with pops of color of like yellow and orange. Um, this house, I think, was pre-made and came with Tartosa, and I just redid some of the inside and changed some of the colors and a few minor pieces of furniture um, and added a couple items. I pictured Roxanne, like, might come over and spend the night. Um, so I kind of just wanted to show you her grandparents' home and introduce them to you. Uh, so you've heard me mention Nikita. There she is, and she's looking gorgeous in her outfit. And then here is Ruben. He's kind of very, like, casual, laid back. Um, I picture Nikita definitely really um, runs the house. She has some strong opinions. Uh, she's a very traditional kind of sim. She's very family-oriented. However, she is, she's also very proper, and she's a bit of a snob. Um, I kind of liked the idea of that, and she really wants to have this successful lineage, and that's kind of where maybe her being a snob, in a way, comes in. Like, she's very hard on her daughter. Um, she was always very hard on... Um, on um, Mia. 
However, I do think she loves her a lot. Like, I don't think it's intentional. She just kind of comes off that way to other people. Um, she really wanted Mia to live a very traditional lifestyle and kind of live the way she grew up. Um, which, as I said, I picture it being maybe from India. Um, or, like, maybe she lived in Tartosa. I mean, I don't know. Um, but I definitely gave her more Indian style look. Um, kind of from, like, India all the way overseas. Um, and then, I, but I definitely feel like she kind of runs the household. Now, uh, Ruben is a foodie. He loves to cook. He was a child of the islands, giving that he grew up in Solani, but I do picture him having, like, some Russian descent as well. Um, but I think he was raised, like, maybe his parents were split up and he was raised on the island with one of his parents. Um, and he can be a little hot-headed. Uh, he's very protective of his family and his wife and... You know, he, he gets very passionate very easily, despite the fact that he's kind of more laid back than his wife. He's that kind of person that, like, he's very easygoing unless he really, really cares about something. Then he gets very passionate. Um, so I thought the hot-headed trait fit him a little. Um, and he definitely backs up his wife 100% when it comes to anything. So that's kind of the household that Mia was raised in. Now... Mia's mother, Nikia, Nikita, would really like to see her daughter get married again and settle down. Like, Mia had Roxanne um, out of wedlock with um, Mr. David Huntley. And at some point, I'll make his parents too. And they had met on the islands of Sulani. Um, they grew very close. But David is non-committal. He's kind of a serial romantic. And Mia at the time was very shy, very reserved, um, kind of very innocent and naive. And she thought David was the love of her life. She got pregnant out of wedlock and had Roxanne. And then they split up. Um, they didn't stay together. Uh, she went off to San Maishuno. She's pretty much raised her daughter by herself. Um, so yeah, it's, they're very like, Nikita was not happy that Mia had her daughter out of wedlock, considering she's this very traditional person. Family is everything. Um, and she was very disappointed that David and Mia never got married either. That was like a big thing. Like, when she found out Mia was pregnant, she was like, well, who is the guy? Like, you got to marry him kind of deal. And uh, when they didn't work out, you know, Nikita really wanted better for her daughter, I think, than David. But being who she is, she thought, well, she's already pregnant. They should get married. And they didn't. They didn't work out. Mia moved, you know, they left Sulani. But Nikita really wants... Mia to settle down with the right kind of person in her eyes, somebody very successful. Um, she wanted her daughter to be very successful and live a very traditional lifestyle like herself. Um, she does, however, love Roxanne to bits and pieces. And I think maybe she's closer to Roxanne um, than she would be to her daughter. Uh, because I just made her, they don't have any family relationships yet. At some point, I will kind of have them hang out because they're family. They're Mia's parents and Roxanne's grandparents. They should have relationships. Um, but because I made them later, they, they don't currently. Um, yeah, I do like the room. I just put, like, some teddy bears, maybe, like, one toy, some books. I don't feel like it, they'd have gone like all out on a room for their granddaughter because I don't figure she comes and visits super, super often. I do, however, don't know why I went with that bed color because, yeah, I, I feel like she'd have like more of a, well, I guess maybe I did it because like the blue seems to match better um, with the walls in the bookshelf there, but I mean... I don't know, she probably would have had like a pink bed because she is very 
girly, but I'm just going to leave it just because that's the way I, I built it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it a shade of blue. I think I had it the dark blue. I mean, the wood shade is slightly off, so I really don't know why I went with that at all. I kind of want to change it to be more of like a pink. Because, you know, when I think about it, I really feel like she'd have more of like a pink room, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Or even just like a blue. A blue would look nice too with like the same, I don't know, original colors. I don't know. I might just, I, I'll just leave it the way I had it. I don't, I don't want to change like the whole room. It, it, it was a nice color scheme. It's, it's very, you know, maybe they just have like some plain colors. Um, but yeah, it's not like a super fancy room. It's just like a very plain bedspread and some bears for their granddaughter when she comes to visit. I think that dark blue is probably one of Nikita's favorite colors. Maybe that's why she chose like the walls and the bedspread. And it kind of doubles as their guest room. So I guess that would make sense. Like they wouldn't do a super personalized room for their granddaughter. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have her maybe cook up some food. Um, she's probably going to cook like, I don't know, she might cook like some rice cakes. And then I feel like um, he might come and like sit down. I, I might get like a few plants or something. They don't really seem to have any skill objects. Oh, I think that's because I didn't have the money to put in any skill objects. That's right. I feel like they would have had like a few plants over there. I might cheat the money in for them. Just so they can have, like, some sort of activity. Like, I don't really think it matters too much what activity it is, as long as there's, like, something. I just feel bad for them having this, like, nice outdoor space, but there's, like, not a single item in it. Because it is, it is a really pretty outdoor space. Uh, do I want, like, a guitar, maybe? And I don't feel like his wife would be, like, huge on guitar, to be honest. There is this weird meditation. No, that's a trash can. There's a, there's a trash can, like, all the way on the opposite side of the room. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like that looks a little strange. Like, I feel like the trash can should be... Like maybe over right here, like just closer to the kitchen. Um, I might put like a guitar over here. And then I wanted to get some of these. Even just like three of these, <laughs> even two of those outside looks nice. You know, just like something. Just so they can maybe garden. There's a guitar. <coughs> And then I do um, picture them being retired. So I uh, don't want to go like too overboard with activities. I just want like a few. Just, just you know, a couple. kind of want a camera. You know, I feel like they would take pictures with their granddaughter. Um, but I, I didn't like clutter it up too much. I went like very... Not like super minimalistic, but more minimalistic than I usually do. Like I didn't throw a lot in the um, house when I, I rebuilt it. I think Nikita would have like a flower garden personally. Like she'd be all over her plants like no tomorrow. I feel like, I feel like that's like her, her domain. I don't want her to dislike gardening. So yeah, this episode was more supposed to just be like an introduction to the parents that I made. 
Um, I didn't do a create a sim making them. I kind of wished I had once I got part way through, but it took me forever, so it would have been like a really long create a sim. Okay, I'm gonna plant like a rose over here. I don't know, a rose sounds nice. And they're not like super rich. Like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like for being retired people, like, they, they, they could have more funds, you know? Um, but yeah, I don't know. They, they don't have a lot of funds. Which I'm kind of, kind of surprised about. But they have a nice, nice little house. Um, I'm gonna give David a job. I kind of want him to be like a fisherman. Uh, I feel like that's why he lives on the island, the oceany area. You know, he kind of wants to, you know, he, he's living like a, I feel like a part-time job would fit him. I feel like they're older. He would be on the retired side, you know. I feel like that would um, fit them very nicely. We'll do a few respectful introductions. Uh, ooh, grapevine gossip. I don't know what that comes with, but I kind of like it. Um, let's maybe chat about some property values. Let's thank her for coming. Um, I would like Nikita to have a job, but I don't really know as what. I just don't feel like his part-time job will entirely cover the bills. Um, I think she was probably a stay-at-home mom while she was raising Mia, and now she's kind of got some sort of maybe freelance career. I either picture her being like a freelance or even an art critic would be nice. Um, Cause I don't feel like they'd have super strenuous jobs given that I feel like they're kind of retired. Um, I think, Maybe a freelance artist would be nice. Or actually, because they have the camera, I, I'd have to buy a digital sketch pad. Um, so I, I kind of want to change that now. I'm, ju I'm just going to switch that. Because when I think about it, I think a photographer uh, fits better. I'm going to go back to freelancer. Do, 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 do. Oh, do. Um, I think there's a way to just change which job she has. Because I gave him a camera. It makes more sense. I could have also pictured her being like a lawyer. Um, <coughs> I think a lawyer would have been nice as well. We'll change her freelancer career. Um, she might have been a lawyer in her younger days, Nikita, because she is very, like, stubborn. I don't feel like she's one to lose an argument ever. Um, I, I might change that because she does want a very successful lineage. So maybe later on I'll have her be a lawyer again. Um, but for now, I picture her. You know, maybe was, she was a lawyer when she was younger. Now that she retires, she's a photographer. I think either job would be nice for her. Um, but yeah, we've got like a whole bunch of things popping up here. We have um, perform marriages in 20 unique households. So Nikita is a proper sim. Proper sims are respectful of others and the rules around them, and will be angry at any inappropriate behavior they see. Oh, it says, sometimes it is the best to leave a career behind, but for Nikita, there is a lingering feeling that is, it is always for the worst. Why is that? What trait is that from? It's from quitting her career, but, like, that that's strange. <laughs> that is very, very strange. 
Is it because she's like proper or something? Because I've never seen that uh, pop up. I don't know. I do not know at all. They do have like a nice home for like a little retired couple, you know? I, I like it. Um, I kind of just want like a picture of him napping on the couch. Um, I feel like that's like a nice picture right there. That's, <laughs> that's going to be my thumbnail picture. I just, I like it so, so much. Just, I love that he just, like, is napping on the couch. That is me. That is me, like, in the morning. I'm not a morning person. Let me know if you guys are a morning person. I would love to know that um, if you're watching on YouTube in the comments. If you're watching on Twitch, they don't have comments, so you might not be able to tell me. Um, but we've been going 25 minutes. On that note, I'm just kind of going to let you guys go, and we'll chat tomorrow. Bye, guys.